Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to challenge the level 65 Leviar. And I'm just going to begin and we'll see how this one plays out. Alright, so my party is going to be Bozol, Lana, um, let's see, Liana it would be good. I'll bring Sophia, and finally, Luna. And I'm going to try using Luna with both rangers. I don't know how well that will work out, so we'll see. Alright, so the party looks good, and I am going to begin. So we'll see how this works out. Hopefully it works. I'm honestly not quite sure. Alright, everything looks ready to go, so let's start. So, let's start the danger zone, and I'm going to start off with Bozol activating faction buff. That way, Lana can move forward and attack. And I'll start off with Ice Lance. And next, I am going to use Liana to again Lena. And Lena will do a second strike with Dark Reaper. All right. Finally, I'm going to move Luna forward. Have her use Wind Spiral. And finally, move her right here. And then activate Queen's Ascension. So sh that way she faction buffs as well. And I might as well... I don't know if it'll work help or not, but I might as well regenerate my Luna. Alright, so let's see what... Perfect! Okay, so as expected, Leviar likes to attack Lana. And by having Luna close to Lana, uh, Luna will apply her talent, reducing the magic damage that Lena takes, keeping her alive. Huh? Alright, let's move Bozo back. And then let's have... Let's shift Luna a bit closer. Like so. And then Sophia... will heal up Liana. And... Liana is going to have to heal. Okay. And Lana just keeps tanking the hits from Leviar this way. So as long as Lana keeps surviving and tanking this hit, she'll do a good amount of damage to Leviar every turn. As long as I keep her healthy. So let's end her turn. And... What I'm going to do is move Bozel forward to do a Dark Reaper attack. And I'm just going to end Luna's turn. And... Have Liana heal up Lena. AoE will heal up Luna. 
keeping her full health, even if the Bolt Rangers are damaged. And Sophia will again heal up Liana. Oh no! Not good. Because now I know Lena can no longer tank it. So I'm going to have to shift. Hmm. Alright. Let's shift Lena out for this turn. Let's. Have Bozo be the tank for this turn. So Bozo will attack. Alright. So let's toss the Dark Reaper. Healing up Bozal. And. Guess I'll just heal up. Lena. Bozo backs off. Lana. Double strike this turn. So let's start off with Ice Lance. Let's have Liana. I gain my Lana. And then toss a Dark Reaper at Leviar. And finally, heal up Liana. That went pretty well. So, Lana will die at this time. Or not. Hmm. Nice. She lived. But it is turn six, so I have to finish it this turn. So, let's have Lana end her turn. And... Since it's the last turn... Sophia does a rewind. Okay. And then with this, let's send Bozo forward with... a Dark Reaper. So, just like that, Leviar, 65 falls. My Luna is not perfect for this run right now, simply because my Luna is currently in her Pegasus class, as opposed to Bow Knight. But despite that, it still worked out. So there we go. Awkward, but it does work. Alright, so... There is... I think there is an element of luck to my party, the way I'm using it, simply because sometimes Leviar will target Luna. So, yeah. Luna has Bow Rangers. I'm hoping for the decreased damage taken by 50% to activate. If it does, you know, she stays alive. If not, she dies. Uh, it's because my Bolt Rangers are barely leveled. That's why. But, yeah, it worked out pretty well. She was here primarily for her talent of wind protection to keep Lana alive. Okay? So that was my Luna. Um, other than that, you know, Bozo was a secondary damage dealer, right? Lana was the primary damage dealer with two attack skills and magic defense intimidate. You can see her stats right here, around 800 int. And Bozo, I know, can tank the hit because her sorceresses have uh, plus 40% hit points. So Bozo has no problem tanking the hits. You know, but he has two attack skills and dark waltz. So that was Bozel, that was Lana, that was Luna, 
And then Sophia just stands outside the whole time, casting heal to keep my other characters healthy. I should have probably brought mass heal as well as heal, right? Because mass heal would probably work better in keeping uh, Luna alive as well as Liana. So this is probably the best skill combination for Sophia for this fight. You bring mass heal, you bring heal, and then you bring rewind to be used on turn six. Is there anything else? And then, oh yeah, finally there was Liana. And Liana was inside the zone casting heal on your characters that get damaged. And her talent will heal up everyone else. She has a gain as well, and she, her last skill doesn't matter. You're never going to use prayer. You're never going to use uh, mass protect. You might use wind blades, but generally speaking, you're too busy casting heal and act again to ever have a chance to use wind blades. So that's everything I wanted to say. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this battle useful. It is, as I said, it is kind of awkward because my Luna is not quite upgraded yet. Um, but it worked out. There's a lot of options you can use with the party that I'm doing. For example, you can probably replace Luna with, let's say, Ulti Muller, right? Because Ulti Muller could move in and out of the danger zone, tanking the hits that uh, Leviar makes. Um, at least that is worth trying. In any case, thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.